Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, thank you to all of my new subscribers. Yes, I have to say that. I'm never not going to say that. I am so grateful for you all when you click that subscribe button and you join the family. A lot of you came over from TikTok. I did a TikTok live a couple days ago and a lot of you showed up, like so many people showed up on that live. Trevor, my moderator, was there and it was just a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for that and thank you for coming over to the channel because this is where I can do a lot that I cannot do on my other platforms without, you know, community guidelines and restrictions and things of that nature. So thank you guys so much for being here. Before I jump into this video, I want to give a shout out to Preppy.org. If you guys don't know about Preppy, I'm about to tell you. So first off and foremost, you guys know that I am an advocate for you all when you are wanting to go to school, I want to save you money and I want to save you time. You've heard me say time and time again that it should not cost you an arm and a leg to go to school to become certified as a phlebotomy technician, nor should it take you years, okay? 12 months, 16, 18 months. No, no, no. So there is a free masterclass. I'm going to continue to mention this free masterclass because it is the blueprint for your steps into getting your phlebotomy certification. Grant Aldrich is the founder of Preppy. There is a description, a link in the description box below that will take you to the free masterclass. Now this free masterclass, you guys, if you're wondering, you know, if uh, phlebotomy is the right career for you, you want to know about salaries, you, um, you know, just want to know the basics. Like I give you a lot of the basics, but if you're really wanting like that information before you sign up, you know, before you choose that school or that school, I need you to take this, check out this masterclass. It's going to give you everything that you need, all the information you need before you sign up. Now, Grant Aldrich, like I said, the founder is a expert in the certification space, right? I am not. So, and you all know that. So when we do lives and things like that, I'm always asking your peers, guys, jump in. Do you need a certification over here? Do you need a license over there, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what the masterclass is all about. It's a free masterclass, you all. Like there are no strings attached. You guys know me. I don't come here dumping stuff on you that you have to pay for or anything of that nature. And I recommend it, okay? I'm putting my stamp on it. And I need you guys, honestly, if you are considering school this year, now's the time to sign up. Now's the time to get that information and you start your journey because it is a great field to get into. But the link in my description box will give you all the information about it and you guys will not be disappointed. So just want to give a shout out to Preppy and um, check that out and come back and let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the masterclass because I think it's great. It's full of uh, a lot of information that can be very useful. So yeah. Now, jump into the video, you all. Over on TikTok, two days ago now, we talked about a number of things. We talked about the pearl top tube and the white top tube. Someone had questions about that. We talked about mobile phlebotomy versus uh, traveling phlebotomy. Yeah, we're going to get on that. And I told my TikTok family that over on YouTube, I can do live sticks, right? And you guys are here for that. We've done several of them. I'm actually going to start doing those again because a lot of people want to see how where you know all of that good stuff so yeah we've got that coming but I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the pearl top tube not to be confused with a white top tube again you guys when you are referencing your tubes please be specific when you're talking about colors don't just ask for a green top tube there's light green okay we say green a lot blue red gold green lavender we know that we're speaking of the light green top tube. Now, when you're in the field and nurses are asking you for tubes and things of that nature, listen to what they're asking for. If you're not sure, be like, what test are you drawing? She says a CP comp. Oh, you need the light green top tube, okay? There's a BMP and a BNP. I used to get confused when I first started and I had nurses say, yo, give me a um, the tube for BNP. I'm like, okay, BM, 
P or BNP. There's a two totally different tests that require two totally different tubes. So I say all that to say, don't confuse your pearl top tube. I know it doesn't look pearl here, but this is a pearl top tube. It's, it's clear, but it's pearl because the label is kind of like lavender pearlish. It's a pearl top tube, trust me. This is a white top tube. You can pretty much see the difference in the lighting, how white that top this one is as opposed to this one. Okay, just a little bit there. But my whole point is, please be specific with your tubes, just like I ask you guys to be specific when you're talking about yellow top tubes and cultures and things of that nature. Everybody's yellow top tube is first. Which one? You can't just tell me a yellow top tube is first because there are two yellow top tubes, maybe three that are used to draw labs. That's why I don't put our cultures in the order of draw. Now this pearl top tube, to get back to the pearl top tube, has a form of EDTA in it as an additive. That right off the bat lets you know where it should be drawn and with what tube it's going to be drawn with or after. Now any tubes that have EDTA in them, we know the lavender top tube is that tube. Right, we know this is the main tube when it comes to labs. Everybody's gonna have this let this tube drawn. I don't care where you go. If you're in primary care, internal med, if you're over in the transplant clinic, I, I, it doesn't matter. Everyone has a CBC drawn on them when they go to the emergency room or go to the doctor. Okay, this is one of the most common tubes out there. It gets, it's a busy tube. Now, when you draw this lab, this lavender top tube. And the doctor also wants this pearl top tube you don't have to guess where it goes in the order of draw you already know because i'm telling you it has a form of edta in it so it's a part of this family there are other tubes that have edta in them as well and all of those tubes will be collected at the same time that this bad boy is collected this baby right here okay so don't let that confuse you don't let that throw you we're going to learn the additives in our tubes that way you'll be on it when time comes to collect these tubes but please remember the five basic tubes that I always reference, blue, red, gold, green, lavender. Those are the top five. Those are the five basic ones that we always speak on because those are the five basic tubes when it comes to the order of draw. And once you learn those fives and their additives, you're not going to have any problems. The white top tube, which I have never drawn in my entire career. I never used this tube. It is a sterile tube. Well, all the tubes are sterile. What I mean is it has no additive. There is absolutely no additive in this tube. So we already know that the tubes with no additive comes first. Whether it's that blue, red, because that red is a plain top tank, plain tube also, um, with a little bit of uh, silica spray in it, it's considered a non-additive tube. That's why it's blue, red. Go you get all those tubes first without the additives in them. Blue, red, gold, green, lavender. Blue is first because of the additive that's in it. You don't want it transferring over into your other tubes, which is why you draw that red top tube, which would more than likely be, this white top tube would more than likely be a part of that family, the red top tube. So you would have blue, red, white, gold, green, lavender, because it is a tube with no additive. Understand? Does it make sense? Comment down below if that makes sense. I need it to make sense to you all. So please do that for me. We will be back because we are going to put these tubes in there with their family members and continue talking about additives because that's so important when it comes to studying not only the color but when you get the color down you know the additive and you know where all these extra tubes these other tubes that you're going to see you will know where to place them so yes thumbs up this video you all share it like it tell your friends your family all, tell everybody to come on over if they're interested interested in phlebotomy they're trying to go to school this year this is where you need to come to get all of that great information and we're going to continue to study our order of draw two additives we're going to talk about our mobile phlebotomist as well as our as well as our traveling phlebotomist and all of that coming up within the next few days so thank you guys so much for being here again and i will see you all in the next video bye